Hey guys, it's Brett here and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be doing a Q&A. Now in my last video, I asked for some questions to answer within this Q&A because obviously the UK are on lockdown. So it's a little bit limited of what I can do in terms of content. So here we are with the Q&A. So without further ado, let's get straight into your questions. So the first question is from Adam Hall. Now he has said, when will you be live streaming again? And also it's incredible to see how far this channel has come. First of all, thank you very much. And it's pretty crazy to think like, I was stuck on like 200 subscribers for ages and now we're at like 27,000. Yeah, I think 27,000, which is just crazy. Adam Hall's actually quite a long-term viewer. I do recognize that name and I've had spoke to him, so it's really nice for him to comment. Um, but when will I be live streaming again? Now that is something I really want to set up. I've always liked the live streaming side of things. The fact that you can, I can read the chat and it's just, it's just so much better to communicate with you guys live. I just really like it. But in regards to actually starting, I don't know when I'll be able to start, but I kind of want to set it up so I can just permanently have a setup there just so I can click a button um, and maybe get like a stream deck or something like that. Maybe I'll do that when I have the new series. Um, but definitely I want to start it soon because I really enjoy it. So next question is from Mango and he has put, when are you planning? to move out now as you know one of my goals for this year is to at least start saving for a house obviously I'm only 19 so I don't want to go crazy um, I have got one of the help to buy ISAs now in the here in the UK you can do a help to buy ISA so I put 200 pound into that help to buy ISA every single month so hopefully by the end of the year I would have had that as a deposit um, and then obviously if I want to save I can save as well on top of that but I'm always saving for house in the background if that makes any sense but I don't know probably not this year um, but potentially the end of next year but definitely I'm starting this year to save that was kind of my goal to save for it so i'm still doing my goal if that I mean but we, we won't be actually buying the house but we would definitely be looking at the end of the year uh, and kind of evaluating where we are so far so next question is from joshua and he has put will your channel be doing pranks i think you can grow so much more if you do a hilarious prank uh, pranks on people you love now i really want to do pranks now i've kind of got a couple of ideas in terms of pranks um but i'm not saying uh, who on and what kind of prank it is because I'm not too entirely sure but I have seen loads of prank videos before and I know a few people that would just believe anything so I think that'd be really funny um, but yeah uh, potentially I could do but I never really thought about it so next question is from Angelo and he has put how do you how do you see yourself in five years I guess that's maybe like where do you see yourself in five years um, I expect to potentially have a new car because I don't think I'll have that car for five years I don't know I could do um, but if not, I expect to still have that car or a new car. I definitely want to go up in the world. Uh, potentially, I could be in a house at that point. I would like to think I was because that I would be 24. So I'd like to think I would be in my first house, definitely. And I'd like to think I was still with my girlfriend. That'd be good. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what I want. I want to be in a stable position, stable job, stable income, potentially a house and then a nice car. That's kind of where I want to be. And 24 years old, that isn't too bad for there. So the next question is from Jabba. Jabba, I think it says. Um, what mods uh, do you plan on doing on new car? Now, I have done... I have done the one mods video so far. It's done really well. So I am going to be doing a few mods very soon. One to do with brake calipers. And that will be really cool. Um, and another to do with some lights. And I'm not going to reveal it anymore. But there's a lot. I've got a massive list. If you look on here. Um, you can see here. I don't want to wave it too quick. But there's a massive list on there. Hopefully you didn't see that. But there's a big list on there of what I want to do. And I've got like little ticks next to things I want to do. So I'm keeping track of it. Lexa was put, what's your job, your actually job, not just YouTube? I guess he means what's your actual job, not YouTube. Obviously, YouTube is not a job. It's far from it. <laughs> I literally earn like nothing on it at all. At the moment, because I had my AdSense up, set up wrong, I was actually getting paid like once every six months. And that was about £60. So it's like £5 a month, not even that. It's stupid. But at the end of the day, this is my hobby. Um, but yeah, so the question is, what is your actual job? Because I was rambling a little bit there, wasn't I? Um, <laughs> But my actual job is, uh, I basically am an IT analyst, so I work for a university up in London, but the actual like, the service centre is down where I live in Cornwall. Um, so I work for a service centre, and basically what happens is, students and staff um, and people that to do with the university call us up and with any IT issues, and we try our best to help them out, and 90% of the time we can uh, help them out. And yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of what I do. So in short, I basically work within the IT industry for university. <laughs> so Angel Blake put, I just want to know how you got that haircut, lol. Send whoever that was here. So my mum is a hairdresser, fortunately. Um, so that's how I got my hair done. Uh, it's really convenient, actually, especially during this period because everyone's having to go bold. But luckily, I can get a half-decent haircut. Um, but yeah, I, I do think it's a little bit too short, but 
Yeah. So, Sin Omin has put, loving the more videos you're doing lately. Hope you're um, good and Mia during all this. Are you staying separately? Now, me and my girlfriend Mia, as you, I'm sure you're fully aware of her now, um, she is separate at the minute. We are kind of, we're separate, not, our relationship isn't apart, but we are physically apart because of obviously the virus. So she's at her house, I'm at my house, um, and obviously we're FaceTime and stuff like that. But there is a little thing to announce that Mia might be starting a channel soon, so hopefully you can uh, keep an eye on that one. So next question is from Morgan. He put, question for the Q&A, are you close to be putting a deposit on the house? Another question is, can you do a day, day in the life of Brett Barnes? Now, first question, uh, I pretty much just answered that, which is about the house. And second question, can you do a day in the life of Brett Barnes? Now, I could potentially do it, but it's a bit boring to be fair. Like, it's just a normal day. Like, I'd wake up, go to work, come home, go on my computer, do like YouTube stuff, watch YouTube, that kind of thing, go bed and repeat. It's probably my weekend you'd probably want to see. Um, I think the only time I'd really do that is when I actually have an event going on, like that time I went in a plane or helicopter with my mum, that kind of thing. That's kind of a do a day in the life as such. But I don't really have an interesting life to do. So the next one is quite a small one, and it is from Nolzy. Nolzy. So I don't know. I'm awful at English, so uh, so put for the Q and A. How old are you? So if you guys don't know, I'm actually 19, and I've just turned 19. I was 18 last month. So this is a good one. This is from Dylan, and he has put. Do you plan on getting your car wrapped? Now, <laughs> when I first wanted to get a BMW, I wanted to get it wrapped. But now I've got it, I really like the white. Um, I am gonna be wrapping certain parts, but probably not a full wrap. I might get PPF wrap, which is a paint protection film um, wrap just to protect the front end. But at the minute, I probably won't get a full wrap. And if I do, it'll be like one big solid car, uh, color, like a big red or um, like, a, like a camo, I don't really know, but it'll be really cool anyway. Um, but at the minute, I don't see myself getting one though. So the next one is from Isaac Clem. And he has put, what's your advice for people doing YouTube? First of all, just start. Just literally make a channel and just start. Upload what you want because it got to the point where I wasn't uploading what I want, but now I'm uploading exactly what I want. And hopefully that comes across on camera. Um, and just don't give up. And definitely, if you're in school, ignore the bullying because I got like five years of it. Um, and I've had so many people come back and say, oh, uh, how did you get so many subscribers? Uh, you're, you're doing pretty well, aren't you? Yeah, so, uh, and I just ignored them because they're the ones that bully me in the first place. But yeah, mate, just don't give up. Just do it. Don't give up. Look at a few advice videos on the internet. See what you're interested in and make videos on that. That is simple. That's the only answer I can give, really. So the, the official Storms has put, hi, Brett, big fan. My question is, what is your favorite mid video to make? I don't know if that means what my previous video, my favorite one is to make, but I'd probably say like obviously setup videos at the minute is my favorite and then car videos. But if I had to choose one video that I'd love to make, oh, oh I don't know. I, I do enjoy pretty much all of it. I, I couldn't answer that one. Yeah, I, I couldn't answer that one. So the next one is from Ruben and he has put, what are your favorite YouTubers? Now, I have a real mix of favorite YouTubers. I literally like anything from cars to um, uh, technology to cleaning cars to literally anything. So I watch people like, I've, I watch the Ace Family. How random. I watch the Ace Family. I watch um, Petrol Ped. I watch Mars Bar. I watch like, Austin Evans, MKBHD, um, Unbox Therapy, so many car detailing, uh, so many car detailing videos. I watched someone called Matt Armstrong, Joe Achilles. There's literally so many. I I'm, I literally watch so much YouTube. It's pretty sad. So Alexro has put another question. I'm pretty sure he's just asked one, but if he hasn't, then this is his first question. So he's put, you should also repaint your door. Just a suggestion. Now, as you can see in the back, my door is currently like a brown color. Yes, I know it doesn't look very good, but the rest of my house is all brown. And if I'm not going to be here for, if I'm only going to be here for the next three years, four years, it probably isn't worth painting the door because um, it'd be a nightmare to put it back. Um, but yeah, I would personally paint it, but my mum and my parents don't want to paint it, so I've got to kind of spread it out. So Solar has put, how much money does your setups cost? Now, if I remember rightly, my last kind of room, when I completely gutted this room out and made a whole new room, I think it cost about £2,000 because I literally had, I was during, it was during college and I had to save up for ages and ages and ages and ages doing like work in a restaurant, all different stuff like that. 
Um, and I was saving up for a MacBook Pro. Now, it got to the point where I was like, you know what, do I really need the MacBook Pro or should I make a setup series that will do really good on my channel and it'll be really exciting to make? So that's what I ended up doing. So I bought a new bed, I bought all my furniture. Obviously, I bought part of my computer at that point. I bought all my wardrobe, I, put the, I bought my TV, paint, carpet, everything like that. Um, and just renovated my room, basically. Uh, but yeah, I think it was about £2,000. But when I do do my next series, which is my new one for 2020, I'm going to write down everything so I can give you a full detailed video on what everything costs. I think that'll be really good and you'll probably love to see that. So the final question is from Buck T and he put, where would you get all your money? So, obviously I have my full-time job. So I have my full-time job. I do YouTube on the side. Um, I do car valeting as well on the side for friends and family. Um, but then my final thing is like filming, so I do like weddings, so I've recently done a wedding um, for one of my workmates, it turns out, so uh, that was pretty cool. Um, and I also do promotional videos, event videos, anything like that, anything that gets me a bit of cash. So those are my kind of four things, so it's YouTube, filming, valeting, and then my full-time job. So there we have it guys, that is the end of my Q&A, hopefully you did really enjoy that. If you did, please make sure to subscribe and like, and also uh, leave me a comment of what you thought of the video, and make sure you turn on the notification bell as well. But that being said, I hope to see you guys very soon on a brand new video, and this uh, this lockdown is a bit a bit annoying, so I can't actually go out, but I seem to be uploading more videos, so I don't know, it seems to be okay for me. But guys, make sure you stay positive through this time, stay safe, and I shall catch you guys in another video.